Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Perl Linux OS. New release based on Debian 10. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Perl Linux OS. Really interesting distribution. You can actually get it in the GNOME environment, the Mate environment, the LXDE, and the one we're looking at today is the PDE, the Perl Linux desktop environment, which I think is really nice. If you like Linux but love the look of Mac OS X, you're going to love this distribution. If you look up here, we are presently in Firefox, and it has been skinned to look like Safari. Now, I know before everybody freaks out and says, why would you do that? Let's be honest. There are a lot of people out there that truly love Linux, but also love the look and feel of Mac OS X. So that's what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at Perl Linux. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's perlinux.net. I will be sure to include that in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and go to the desktop. If you download Perl Linux, put it on a USB, throw it into a virtual machine and boot it up, this is the screen you're met with. You've got the dock down here on the bottom. It's got quite a few things pinned to it already. And then you've got the bar up top. You've got your power. You've got notifications, show desktop, volume, date and time, update manager, internet. And then, of course, you've got the search. So spotlight search. Let's look for something like graphics. And it brings up Inkscape. Vector Graphics Editor. Let's try System. You've got Print Settings, Samba, System Admin, Show All in Folder. So you can do a pretty quick search just off of your top bar there, which I think is pretty awesome. So let's close out of that. And then you come over to the left. You've got your Perl Linux menu. You can click on it, and it'll bring all of your programs and applications and their subcategories down right here. So we'll close out of that. Then you go to desktop, you've got desktop settings and system settings, you've got files, you've got documents, music, pictures, and video. Let's go ahead and do a right click real quick. You can create a new folder. You can select all desktop preferences, open as root, open command center. Let's go ahead and open up desktop preferences. And then of course you've got your wallpaper right here. Let's click on that. And it looks like you can pick different wallpapers and it gives you a little preview over on the right hand side. Let's just find something that's a little different. I'm going to go with that one. So let's click open. And then move that out of the way. So that's a pretty decent looking wallpaper there. And then, of course, your dock. If it's touched by a window, will move out of the way so it's not intruding on your desktop. Then you've got desktop icons. You can change the look of those or move those around. And then, of course, you're advanced. So let's go ahead and close back out of that. Come back down to the bottom. You've got your Thunar file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And of course, you get that Mac feel and theme to it. You've got your usual suspects over here. You've got your home folders over here. And then of course, if you go up here, you've got your global menu, file, edit, view, go and help. Everything that you can do inside of Thunar, which I think is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And come down here. You've got your full list of applications. And then, of course, your applications will pop up. You've got Conkey Manager, Plank, Calculator, Wine, Wine Desktop, Ristretto Image Viewer, QT Assistant, iDevice Mounter. You can mount your iDevices directly to the system. OBS, Hypnotics, File Manager, PDE Command Center. We'll look at all that here in a second. But I want to go over and take a look at HTOP. So let's go ahead and maximize HTOP. I've issued this machine three gigabytes of RAM. At rest with just the terminal open, we are at 700 megabytes of RAM used, which is pretty light. I have seen some desktops lately running between four and 600, but still 700 less than a gig is really light. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now I do have to let you know, when I first tried to open this up in GNOME boxes, couldn't get the resolution to work for me. So I switched over to VirtualBox, was having the same issues. So I think we're running at like 1680 by 1050 right now. So I do apologize for the bars on both sides. 
I just could not get it to go to 1920 by 1080. So we will move past that. We just looked at HTOP. We've seen Firefox. You've got Evolution as your mail client. You've got Shotwell, Pigeon Internet Messenger. You've got Hypnotics. Let's open that up, see if they've got any TV channels assigned to it. Uh, we have no movies, no series, but they do have TV channels. So let's open that up. I'm in the USA, so let's go to USA. And you've got CNN, Bloomberg, ABC News, Reuters, NASA, BBC, Drybar. So you've got some channels already in there. And then, of course, if you're from somewhere else in the world, whether it be Belgium to Paraguay to Switzerland, they've got some TV channels in there, too. And they do work. I've verified that. So let's go ahead and close out of that. It has OBS installed out of the box. So let's open that up and take a peek. And, of course, it's got the configuration wizard that pops up. We're not going to do that right now, but OBS is installed and ready to be used out of the box. So let's close that. And, of course, close that. You've got Abbey Word, Audacious. SM Player, Audacity, VLC Media Player, Mousepad, Conky Toggle, Applications, Software Manager. Let's take a peek. And there's your Software Manager. That loaded up really quick, actually, for a live instance. Um, up top, you've got your featured apps, which will scroll through and show you different apps. And then you've got your Editor's Picks. You've got Cheap Hearted, Time Shift, Multimedia Codex. You've got 44 updates that are available. And then, of course, you've got Categories down here. Or you could just go up and do a simple search. So let's look for something like Caden Live. And there's Caden Live. You just click on it. And it is a flat hub flat pack. Or you could go back. Let's say VLC. Let's click on that. It's already installed so you can launch or remove it. So if you're used to like your Ubuntu's or your Linux Mints, of course, you're going to be familiar with the software manager. It's beautiful. I like the way they got the themed to match right along with the theming they're using for the operating system. So it looks nice. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then, of course, your settings. Let's open that up. It's your command center. Let's push that up. PDE theming. You can come down to appearance. You can adjust the style that you're looking at right now. I like the default theme, so I'm not going to change that. And then you've got icons. Right now we're on the Pearl Y Aqua. I like the icons, but there, as you can see, there's tons of different icons in here you can really customize this to any way that you want and make it feel the way that you want and then fonts i do like the fonts they're already using i'm going to go ahead and make them a little bigger though so let's go ahead and bump that up to 12 and click ok and then of course settings show images on buttons show images in menu you can adjust those right there so let's go ahead and close that then you can also customize the look and feel and then you can adjust on your widgets, color, icon themes, mouse cursor, font, and others, which is your graphic user interface options. So let's go ahead and close out of that. You've got desktop preferences, dock settings. Let's open up dock settings. Right now it's a GTK theme. You could actually change that if you wanted to to something else and make it look different. Let's try glass pill black. So see, it changed it up for you there. So let's go ahead and leave that. I kind of like that. Then you can also change the position. If you wanted to move it to the right, you can move it over here. And then you could have that all set up over here. Or you can move it to the left. And then you could also put it on top, but you've already got a bar there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it back down to the bottom. And then, of course, your behavior. We already looked at it window dodging a while ago with this window. Dodges out of the way. We'll just leave it like that. And then docklets, different things you can add to the dock if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and close out of that. You've got keyboard, open configuration, panel profile, setup hotkeys, WM switch, window manager, PDE FX theming. You can come in here, adjust on compiz if you want to. Extra tools, drive manager, decomp editor, Perl boot options, hardware, driver manager, monitor settings, printers. Pulse Audio, let me show you in monitor. See, it didn't even give me a 1920 by 1080 option. So, so let's cancel that. And then software, Perl featured software, software, software manager, we already looked at. Update manager, we know we got 44 updates, but we're in a virtual instance, so I'm not going to do that. Software sources, synaptic package manager. This here is another tool you can use to install software and applications to your operating system. If you scroll down, you could go with 
video software and just scroll through and look at all the video software and find whatever you're looking for. Or come up here and do something simple as a search. Just put in Caden Live. And as you can see, it moves your highlighted search over here. And then you've got Caden Live and Caden Live data. All you'd have to do is mark that for installation. And then it'll pop up and show you the dependencies that Caden Live needs to be installed. So you would mark all of those. And then you would come up and click apply. And it would install it to your operating system. And you're good to go. I actually lean towards using Synaptic Package Manager most of the time on my Debian-based distributions. It's just what I feel more comfortable with, but you can use Synaptic or you can use a software manager. That's truly up to you. That's the beauty of Linux. It's freedom. So let's close that. And then system about my computer. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Operating system, Perl Linux 10 Buster, AMD Ryzen, motherboard, graphics, storage printers, summary. You pretty much got everything you need over here. And I mean, they really nailed the look of this operating system. It looks good. It's quick. It's snappy. I really enjoy it. It's nice being in it. Then you've got BleachBit, Conkey Manager, Desktop Sessions, Decomp Editor, Gparted Disks, Login Window, Screensaver, Task Manager, Users, and then your network. You know, all in all, that's pretty much Perl Linux OS. If you like the safety and the security of Linux, but like the look of Mac OS X, I think you ought to run over, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, and give it a test drive. Is that something you might do? Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.